Hi friends, this is Denaro Research and welcome to the part number 9 of Cryptocurrency Statistical Arbitrage Tutorial. We continue working on Data Analyzer. Last time we discussed what is Z-score, key element of our training strategy, and today we are going to implement it. So here is our main.py where all functions are implemented. Let's go to the bottom of the file and define your function and let's call it get z-score z-score this function will have two parameters the first one is spread of course spread and the second one is window size let's call it w by default it would be equal to 40 so, okay let's implement this function as you probably remember from the previous video in order to calculate z-score, we need current spread value, mean and standard deviation. But instead of simple standard deviation and mean, we will use rolling mean and standard deviation. That is why we need certain window size. So let's calculate those values. Pandas is a great statistical library and it has already built-in rolling functions. So in order to calculate standard deviation, we need just type spread dot rolling provide parameters like center equals to false and window size window equals to w and dot std this will return us a standard rolling standard deviation with window size by default equal to 40 we can calculate mean value in the same way so let's copy this row and instead of std we'll type mean so we'll use the same window size of course and type mean so currently we have standard deviation mean and the only missing scene is a current value the simplest way to calculate current value is to use this rolling function so let's copy and paste it and instead of mean we'll type x and we'll shrink window size so window equals to 1 so we'll take only one value and we'll calculate its mean and of course it would be value itself okay so we have all three inputs to calculate z-score z-score will be also a data frame so let's type z-score equals to current value x minus mean value mean and divided by standard deviation std then we need to drop not numbers so z score drop an a in place equals true and finally return z score return z score great let's go to our while loop and use this function so instead of printing spread we'll create a variable spread which equals to get spread function and we'll print z score get z score and use this spread as input spread okay let's save code and run it in terminal let's type python 3 main.py and hit enter what requests pricing data for our pairs then it calculates spread and finally it returns this score so let's go to the top as you see, we are arbitraging Ethereum against XRP. And we know if this score is greater than 2, we short spread. And if it is less than minus 2, we long spread. And if this score returns closer to 0, we close all positions. So let's use this knowledge to implement it in code. 
but in trading we need only the last element of get this core data frame. So let's work with this function a little bit. This core variable equals to get this core. Now we need to take last element, but firstly we need to provide header of a data frame, which is pairs. And then we need to take last element of it by function i add is index minus one. So in this case, pairs equals to combined pairs name. So list data zero plus dash and plus list data one. which is Ethereum and XRP respectively. So let's save code and try to print this code to make sure that everything works. Print this code. Okay, let's save again and go to terminal. Python 3 main.py, hit enter and let's wait for completion. And here is this score of our spread. Now we can create simple conditions when open positions and close them. Okay, let's remove this print and type first condition. If this score is greater than 2, we know in this case we short spread. So let's create some function short spread. If this score is less than minus 2. In this case we long spread. So let's make it look like function long spread. And if this score is greater than minus 0 0.1 and this score is less than 0 0.1, so this score somewhere around 0. In this case, we close position. I close spread. Okay, of course, uh, these three conditions look very primitive and they do not take into account many factors. But in the upcoming videos, we'll improve and enhance them. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!